In addition to marginal distributions, there are also conditional distributions. The two examples that are given here are using the same setup as those on the previous slide. So for example one, if x1, x2, x3 are continuous random variables with a joint probability density function f of x1, x2, x3, the conditional bivariate PDF of x2 and x3 given x1 equals little x1 is, and here it is, the notation is f of x2, x3 given x1 equals x1 is in the numerator you have the probability density function of x1 and x2 and x3 that is the joint PDF divided by the marginal PDF associated with the given um, variable x1 and this is over the support of x2 and x3 and it assumes that you are not dividing by zero. In the second example we have the very same five variables we had before GDP, unemployment, national debt, annual energy consumption and trade deficit. Those five variables are all continuous and we might want the joint prob I should say the conditional probability density function of x2 and x3 given the values of x1, 4 and 5. All of this notation right here is to define that particular conditional distribution. And it will be the joint distribution in the numerator and then in the denominator you will have the joint distribution of the given random variables namely x1, x4 and x5 in the denominator. This will be good over the support of x2 and x3 and you also have to assume that you are not dividing by zero.